we're just getting ready to set off for uh, going down Foxton Locks today. Yeah, it's the longest, deepest staircase set of locks in Britain. I think the drop is something like 75 feet. And it's two staircases of five locks with a passing place in the middle. So I think there's basically space for one boat up, one boat down. Thankfully, there are volunteer lock keepers um, to help us down the flight. So we're not on our own, are Hopefully. we? Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> in the top of the lot. Looks like there's a bit of a queue, so we'll just join the queue. Two boats in front of us. I think two boats, do you think? Yeah. Tie up and go and get some um, breakfast packs. If you want to hold it here, I'll go check in with the locksmith. The lock keeper. Lock keeper. Locksmith. <laughs> what? So while Pete was off getting breakfast and checking in with the lock keeper, I filled up with water. Hello. What you got there? Breakfast baps and dog treats so they don't eat our breakfast baps. So after about a half hour wait, it was our turn to go down the flight. We were actually a bit daunted about doing Fox and Locks as we'd watched a lot of other people's YouTube videos. Lots of them mentioned the saying, red before white, you'll be all right. White before red, you'll end up dead. This refers to the order that you open the paddles in and it was really good to have the locky there to explain it all to us and why you do it in that order. He also radioed down to his colleague at the bottom to let him know that we were in the top lock and on our way down. With the help of the locky, we slipped into a really easy routine of me doing the paddles and him helping me open the gates. And it really wasn't as scary as we'd been worrying about. But I have to admit that at every set of locks, the thing that kept going through my head all the time was red before white, you'll be alright, white before red, you'll end up dead, over and over. The red paddles fill the locks and the white paddles empty them. The water goes into a side pound so if you do the white paddles first, you can actually cause flooding to the local area. A past lock keeper chose to paint the paddles red and white to make it easier to explain the operation of the locks. As the paddles are opened, the level of the water goes down and when the water is equalised on both sides of the gates you can then open them and the boat can move through to the next chamber. While we set the locks Pete did a fantastic job navigating the boat in and out of some very very tight spaces. And before we knew it, we were already at the halfway pound. Five locks done and five more to go.
dogs were all taking it in their stride and Hamish and Poppy were at their favourite place by their dad's feet. Staircase locks like Foxton are used where a canal needs to climb a steep hill and they consist of a group of locks where each lock opens directly into the next one where the bottom gates of one lock form the top gates of the next. Foxton locks are the largest flight of the staircase locks in the English canal system. Building work on Foxton locks started in 1810 and took four years to complete. And without any problems whatsoever, we made it to the bottom lock. From entering the top lock to leaving the bottom lock, our descent took 50 minutes. And then it was the turn of the boat that had been waiting at the bottom to make their ascent of the flight. And we headed through the swing bridge to continue our journey to Market Harbour. So here we are at Clark's Bridge, very aptly named for us. And uh, we've on the Market Harbour arm and we've just finished um, the Foxton Locks, haven't we? Yes, went uh, pretty smoothly really. Yeah. So Foxton was I don't know, I had this sort of dread about going down and um, it wasn't at all scary, was it? Like you no. got the volunteer lockies to help you go and not make mistakes and it was just logical and no heavy, ga no heavy gates. Red before white, red you'll before be white, right. you'll be all yeah. right. So We yeah, didn't do good. any white before red, so we're not ending up dead. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> all right, and on that note... <laughs> we'll keep going. <laughs>